Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. And today is a very special day because we are finally going to go and do the Cave in the South. I am super excited about this. Um, I've been building up towards this point for quite a while now on this series, so we are going to do it. Um, we've got our fancy saber here, our imprinted saber named Jake, and we are just going to hop right into it. I have all of the gear I need. I have some sleeping bags in case we end up dying not too far in, hopefully, so we can get stuff back. And, whoop, yep, we are going to go ahead and start the pursuit which is right here in the south of the island i believe yes yes that's the correct one all right there we go pursuit started so this is going to lead us straight to that area on the map where the cave is so for reference we are headed kind of down that or direction um kind of in the middle of the map definitely Smack in the middle in the south. All right, so I am going to make the long journey over there very carefully and try not to get our beautiful saber hurt at all. Um, and I may also do a little bit of like killing things on the way over to see if we can get a little extra XP and a little bit more health before we go into that cave. So I will see you guys in a little bit when we have found this cave. Okay guys, we are back and I have laid down some sleeping bags because here is the cave. Uh, I'm super excited about this. It has been um, a little while actually since I've done this particular cave. Hopefully, hopefully when we load this in it doesn't teleport us out. I know that was a bug in the old game. Can we keep going? There we go. Oh, and it looks like we have a new pursuit as well. Let's go ahead and start that. Um, it's going to want us to find this artifact. Okay, apparently we have to be all the way inside the cave. There we go. Alright, so it is a little bit dark in here. Um, the crystals are helping. I do have a torch on me, so we can use that if we need to. I'm going to go a little bit slow here at first. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to run into. And I don't want to... I don't want to, like, charge in and make a mistake and lose everything. I worked really hard on imprinting Jake here. And I would like to keep him as much as possible. Alright. Is there anything interesting up here other than glowing mushrooms? I always forget. I wonder if they have... They probably don't have loot crates in here. It would be nice if they did. I highly doubt it. Typically, I think on this game, you're only going to be able to get loot, um, or advanced loot anyway, by watching ads, which is a little disappointing. Alright, kind of check it out. Make our way down this way. All right, so there's still nothing, which is great, actually. Um, I'm kind of excited about there not being a whole lot in this cave just yet. But it does worry me that then there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff later. And if that's the case, we could be in trouble here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull out a torch. It is a little bit dark. There we go. Whoa, I did not want to run there. I'm going to wander down this way. Is there anything here? Yes. Okay, we have a sc scorpion. Awesome. I'm going to see if I can't pull aggro on this guy. What level are you? Two. You're weak. I'm going to keep him kind of here. I don't want to go too far down. Oh, there we go. We got some Araneos. I didn't want to take on too many dinos at once if we didn't have to. Oh, that's kind of a lot. All right. That's okay. Um, the spiders aren't that strong. And we can always stop and heal if we need to. 
There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what all do we have here? We don't need this, or this, or this, or any of that. I'm basically gonna keep my inventory as clear as possible. I have tons of arrows back at base. I don't want those. Um, the saber doesn't have a ton of carry weight, so I might keep the trank arrows for now, just in case. I don't think I'll be taming anything in here. But I do like to keep the trank arrows, because... I hate wasting narcotics on making trank arrows. Alright, come here, scorpion. Now, I do hope there's no megaloceros in here. Um, the megaloceros are really difficult to deal with. Because they do pull you off your mount. They, like, take the mount out from under you. And it's really frustrating. So, if those have been implemented in this game, I'm going to be super sad. Because that's just, like... Here we go. Go up here a little bit. Make sure we're okay. Alright, I am apparently hungry. Man, we're gonna have to be constantly clearing out our inventory. This is gonna be really frustrating. There's just too much loot. There's too much, like, low-level, not good loot, I think, on this game. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna keep the stem berries, maybe. Because there are a lot of scorpions in this cave, and that might come in handy to, like, wake him up. Now, I'm dropping all of these berries because I do have on me, I have these mushrooms. And because this is an old version of Ark, I can eat these mushrooms without any ill effects. It's pretty great. Um, I have really missed that feature of Ark. I know that the mushrooms are supposed to have an effect and that they're supposed to spoil, but I'm really, really glad that in this version, they don't. That's gonna be super useful. I'm gonna sneak over here and grab this. I want the experience, um, and I want the note. I'm hoping there's like a cool reward when you discover everything. All right, we've attracted a few things. Let's go ahead and take care of them. Alright, come here. You're not very strong. Okay, that was pretty easy. Yeah, this is just gonna take a long time with the clearing out of the inventory. Um, kinda stinks. Oh, I like to keep metal stuff, but I don't need to. This is where it would really come in useful to have one of those those buttons where you could just, like, select ten things to drop or something. That would be really, really handy. Come on, Wardrum. Don't let me down. Make it easier. Alright. Make our way down here. There's another scorpion up here. What I'm really worried about are Arthropleura, because right now, I am wearing chitin armor. Um, which is decent. Like, chitin armor is pretty good. It's fine for this cave. But if I run into an Arthropleura, they're gonna spit at me. And they have acid spit. That's one. No! Ugh, there we go. Okay. Don't spit at me. I gotta, like, get behind them. Because when they spit at you, they can break your armor. Can we, can we please kill the... Oh, man. They do so much damage. What the heck? They don't normally... Oh, gosh, he got me. Dang it. Okay. That's not cool. That's, like, really not cool. They do way too much damage. How are we doing? Uh, there we go. Okay. I'm okay without armor. Hopefully we can do this force-feeding trick. I am gonna level up health... Okay, we did get a few levels from that, so apparently Arthur Plur are great for levels, which is at least something. Go ahead and drop those. Drop that. Drop that. Drop all the things. All of the things we don't need. Anything that weighs anything, basically. Because I really just want to carry the artifact out of here. I don't want anything else. I just want the artifact. Okay. Dang. Okay, so as long as we go slow, we should be okay. That 
That sucks. It's really hard to avoid the spit. I'm not sure what the AoE is like on these guys, but like, there's just enough lag in the cave that it's pretty impossible to avoid. What? How did that happen? We had a flying spider and it somehow got behind me. Ugh. Which is just as bad as in the PC game when you sometimes get stuff hanging out in walls. Equally frustrating. I am not running. Okay, we could have tamed a dung beetle, but I didn't think about it. That could have been cool, although it would have taken forever to get it back to the, uh, to the base. But it would have been handy, because then we wouldn't have to make a compost bin or anything. We could just keep a dung beetle around for fertilizer for our eventual farm, which I am hoping to make soon. Um, I'm trying to get some of the electronic tier in first. All right, let's go ahead and clear out again. Oh my goodness, this is tedious. Fair warning, guys, you are gonna spend a lot of time in your inventory in the caves, which means it's gonna be a pain getting back out because everything will have had time to spawn back in by the time I get out. Okay, as long as we don't get off the saber tooth, I think we're gonna be okay now that we've lost all of our armor feed that. Eat. Alright. Um, if you force feed them, in case you didn't know, if you force feed a dino, it does increase their health a little bit faster than otherwise, so that's why I'm doing that. Alright, come here. There you go. There you go. Okay, so, so far this cave isn't too bad. Um, the Arthroplera suck, but the Arthroplera always suck. That's okay. I think we're handling it well. Ah. I don't like the lag. I don't like the jump. I don't like how sometimes the saber just randomly starts running forward. That's really strange. Alright, come here. Can you... Can you, come here. There you go. Yes, come to me. Make my job easy. Man, like the spiders are flying everywhere. There's a lot of bugs in this uh, this cave right now. I think the AI could be better. I really hope we don't lag out. I really hope the game doesn't crash. That's my biggest fear, is that the game will, like, crash on me in the middle of this cave. It's part of why I'm going so slow is because I'm hoping that if it does crash, it'll crash when I'm in an area where I can log back in without losing Jake or my stuff too easily. Okay. So we're okay here. Alright. We've got our little hut area down there. I'm not even going to bother. There's nothing down there. I'm going to keep wandering over this way. I'm actually I'm going to have to drop stuff again. One thing I'm noticing a lot in this game is that there are a ton of eggs just everywhere in this game. Um, the wild dinos seem to lay more eggs than they do in PC Arc, and I think that that's, I think that that's actually what they're doing. I think they are programmed to drop more eggs than PC Arc, and I think that's because the tame limit is so low that they don't expect you to be able to get big kibble farms. And so the way to make the game fair for people to collect all the kibble is to increase the overall egg laying rate in the wild. So I think that's why I see so many eggs when I'm wandering around, even in caves, which is like super unusual. Okay, we're still good. All our torpor back. All right, wander over this way. We're gonna have another explorer note here. Is that obsidian? What is this? Okay, hopefully that's obsidian. That's terrifying. It's just like a black void in the middle of the screen. I have no idea what is happening there. That probably needs to be fixed. They probably need texture on that or something. 
Alright. There we go. That. Okay. So we're still doing okay here. I would like to avoid the water. I'm gonna go back this way. I can't... I'm wondering if I'm forgetting how this cave works. Because I know there's a way to get to the artifact without ever getting in the water. Ah, stuff spawns in pretty quick. And ideally I would never have to get in the water, because I know there's going to be Mega Prawn in there, and I just I don't want to deal with them. Right. Oh no. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, you know what? We're going to... We're gonna jump back over here where we have a little space. I already lost my armor, so there's really not much the Arthur Pillar can do by spitting at me. So if I'm very careful here, I can kinda keep stuff not hitting me too much. Man, they have a lot of health. Okay, come on. Man, they attack really fast, too. Good lord. That's not good. It's okay, we're okay. They're almost dead. And then we can stop and heal a little. That's one. Now we can take down the other. Man, can you imagine running into a level 30 Arthropleura? Like, that would be miserable. They're so strong. Alright. I have to go through and drop things and force feed to heal up a little bit. I hope not too many will spawn in behind me. That's like... That's a good fear of mine, is that I'll run into a group of, like, ten or high-level Arthropleuras. That would be bad. Hopefully we don't see that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and feed this. Just force feed a little bit. Yep, look at that health just climb right back up. Goes pretty quick. There we go. The good news is, is that we now have... Yes, more XP. Um, which is awesome. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna wander down this way. Carefully. There's a scorpion here. Eh, don't hit me, thank you. Super rude. I'm not gonna worry about the dung beetles. Um, they only attack if you attack them. Well, that's a cool spider. He's all purple. Ooh, getting surrounded here. That's okay. Araneos are nothing. They're pretty easy. Now, what I haven't seen in this cave is any Onic, and I'm wondering if there are any Onic in this cave at all. That's something I'm actually really curious about. Okay. Alright, so now we're back up here. So I think maybe we do have to cross the water. I really don't want to cross the water. That's just not good in this cave. I may have to go look at the map on the wiki real quick, just to make sure that I'm not, like, completely forgetting something. Can we... Thank you. That was weird. Come on. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm okay. I'm gonna like real quick on my computer here, I'm gonna go ahead and look on the wiki and make sure that we are on the right path. All right, so I will bring you guys back in just a second while I do that. Okay guys, we're back. Um, I'm silly, I think I just went the wrong way. Looks like we may have more snakes to kill here. That's okay, we can do that. I think I went left instead of right, and I should have gone right. Um, that's alright, though. We can easily run back once we... Well, we can fight our way back, I guess, is the case. Okay, take a minute here. I'm gonna try and orient myself. I am still looking at the map. I've got it open, just in case. Um, I don't want to, like, mess up again. All right, come here, Ernao. What is the main chamber? That's the issue, is that I keep forgetting where the main chamber is. Actually, here. Pretty sure this is the main one. I think we're still webbed. There we go. 
if we come down this way, I believe. Whoop, torch broke. It's okay, I'm repairing. Okay. Let's see if I can orient here. That's the dead snakes. The dead Arthropleura. Okay. Still okay. If I follow this around... Am I, like, am I losing my way? I might be losing my way. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to swim through anything to get to where I needed to go. I'm like 100% sure. I know it's up that way. I know there's another way to get there. Okay. Um, I'm going to sort this out, and I will bring you guys back when I find the right path. So I will see you in just a little bit. Okay, guys, I think I've got it all sorted now. Um, so when we originally came down from up there, we went right, and we should have gone left. Uh, that was my mistake. I do like the right side. It does give a lot of XP, but the left side is the one where the artifact is. So if we make our way down here, and if we just hug to the left here, we should come to the artifact pretty quickly. Um, I am going to be careful here because I feel like there's something waiting to ambush me here. Oh, someone left a sleeping bag, but it's not ours. Clever, though, to bring a sleeping bag inside the cave, I guess, if you made it part way. The problem is, is that stuff respawns so quickly. Okay, so now if we go down here, we should run into that artifact right there. Um, and then there is a way around and back. So I'm going to go ahead and jump down here. Doesn't look too bad. There's like a snake, a couple of spiders. Oh my god, everything. Um, this may have been a mistake. That's okay. We're just going to hit everything. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of creatures. Come on, no lag. No lag. Lag is bad. Too many creatures. It's not fair if the game lags out on me here. Come on. Come on. Don't die. We've killed so many. We can do this. Oh my gosh, we did that. Oh, okay. That was a lot. So um, before I go forward, I'm going to need to do this again. This is super frustrating. Um, yeah. Whew. The good news is uh, our saber is amazing and we can clearly handle this. Um, which is awesome. Cool. So we're going to go ahead. I would love to keep all this chitin. It would be really useful, but there's going to get gonna go ahead and feed a lot of this. I wish there was a way to like spam the button. All right. And then I'm just going to have to drop some too. There's just no point in keeping all of it. We're going to get too heavy and then we won't be able to run away when we really need to. All right. How are we doing on weight now? Not bad. Okay. Okay, so we are going to move forward. Get this scorpion to come our way. If we could hit, that would be nice. There we go. A little bit of lag, but not too bad. Not compared to what we just faced. Is there something underground? It looks like there's something... Oh my gosh. It looks like there's something underground here that's like... I can't tell if that's like a weird... Oh. Oh, that was not cool. I don't know what that was, but I don't like it. Um, I feel like I'm about to fall through the map, and that would make me really upset. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here a little bit. Yes, okay, now if we stick left... Yes. Okay. So this is right. This is where the artifact is. A 
wonder. Yep, they still don't let you through. But I don't see anything too scary. Oh, this is so dangerous. This is like the dumbest thing I've done in a while. Oh, it like crouches you automatically. Okay. We could come around. Can we open it? Yes. Okay, we got it. We got the artifact. Yes. All right, now we just need to figure out how to get out. What the heck? What? Oh, oh, God. I thought we lost him there for a second, but he just went to go eat the scorpion. Can we stop hitting him and get on? Thank you. That was terrifying. Um, okay, but we're good. We have the artifact. We have a huge mess of creatures. It's okay. We'll just take on a few at a time. These spiders aren't too bad. Oh my goodness. This is way too OP. What are they thinking? What? Are you guys seeing this? This is insane. This is way too many creatures. Oh, no. I need like a grenade here. Oh my gosh. Uh, luckily, they're kind of piling up onto each other. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is madness. Uh, okay. Come on, we're gonna kill one last scorpion. I'm gonna have to feed him some stem berries after this. This is just... Are you kidding? Look at all that. Oh my goodness. Okay, the good news is, is that our saber is super OP. Um, and we don't have to worry. There you go. Eat a few of those. Eat a few of those. Yeah, our saber is super OP, so luckily we don't have to worry about, like... I'm, I'm impressed that we survived that, honestly. That was, like, a ton of things coming at you. Can we... I'm trying to drop this chitin in the corner, and it doesn't like it. For some reason, like, this bottom row on my phone does not like to be selected. I'm going to drop this whole row. Not a lot of point. These berries probably don't weigh that much. But I just want to make sure that we're not weighed down in case something like that happens again. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to get weighed down while we're killing stuff, like in the middle of a melee like that. That would be really bad if we, like, were harvesting bodies not on purpose, but because they were in the way of us fighting. Okay. Looks like we might still need a few more stem berries here. Just gonna kinda get our torpor to go down a little bit more. Um, I really don't like having a high torpor level. It scares me. Okay. That was insane. Okay, so that's... I mean, we did fine. I was not happy with it, but we did fine. Okay, now we should be able to, if I'm not mistaken, make our way back up. Oh gosh, I hate that dismount button. Please don't be a thing right now. Oh great, now we have dung beetles after us. Oh my goodness, why? Oh, and there's an Arth- Nope, okay. I thought there was an Arthroflora for a second and it scared me. Like, that's the last thing I want to run into right now. Like, we can handle spiders and snakes and scorpions, but the Arthroflora, if we had an army of those on us, we would be in trouble. Okay, we're still okay. This is a spider. We Come on. I know he's not bugging me yet, but he will. Okay. Got a snake here. A few snakes. Yeah, I know. A few snakes, a few scorpions. The scorpions are tankier than Araneos, but I'm not too worried about them. Oh my goodness. This cave is nuts. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I know we have not even have come close to, like, half health or anything, but just because it's mobile and it's difficult to move and the levels are kind of weird, like, just for those reasons alone, this is a tough cave. 
All right, we're gonna have to drop more stuff. Oh my goodness. If you ever need meat or chitin, like this is the place to come. Uh, gosh, what all can we drop? We need to drop like everything. I just, I don't want any of this. Come on. And our health is like really good. It regens pretty fast on its own anyway. So if we had to in the middle of a fight, if there weren't too many things and we could tank a couple hits, we might be able to even heal in the middle of a fight, but I would worry about the time it takes. Okay. So far, so good. Go ahead and get this guy down. This isn't too bad. Almost. There we go. Okay. Alright, I think we are almost out of here, guys. There it is. We are almost to the exit. We need to feed our saber a few stim berries. There's nothing in this part of the cave, which is awesome. Okay, make our way up here. So unfortunately, there are no loot crates. I think that's a missed opportunity. I would really love loot crates um, in caves. I think that would be a really good way to balance out the game for people who maybe don't want to watch the ads to get better equipment because often the ads only give you like dye or something and that's that's not really very cool i think we should get better stuff um from those ads especially especially if you're not going to give us loot crates in caves like come on come on wardrum that's pretty cheap of you all right i'm gonna deload the cave here can we do it we can do it. We have done it. We have successfully completed this whole quest. And all we get for it is the artifact. Apparently, they don't even give you a reward for completing the pursuit. That's really, that's really cheap. Okay, that frustrates me. Seriously, nothing. It's just, it's done. Hunter's Tribute. What's Hunter's Tribute? Hold on, I'm gonna look at this real quick. Is this something? Give me the info. Oh. Oh! Okay, so once you get the artifact, it wants you to, like, take it to an obelisk. So maybe we'll do that in the next episode. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, obviously, because this has already been a pretty long one, I think. Yeah. Alright, but we did it, guys. We, uh... We did what we set out to do. We got ourselves an artifact. We made it through the cave alive. This is an incredibly OP saber, um, considering the sort of stuff we just had to get through. I am, I'm honestly still a little bit shell-shocked by it all. I think it's amazing, and I'm actually a little bit surprised that we managed to do all that, and we didn't die even once. Um, and I actually did the whole cave naked, as you can see, because all of my armor broke pretty co quick in there. So, yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. It has been kind of a long one, but it's been a super successful one. So I'm going to make my way back to base. And if you found yourself enjoying this content at any point, uh, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more, you can, of course, subscribe. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.